Hey folks, Matt from EduCrew again, here with tutorial number five. Today we're going to show you what it's like for a student to log on to the Minecraft server for the first time. Um, just like when you were setting up a server, the students are going to click on their Minecraft EDU icon on their desktop that you have set up when you set up the clients on their computers. I happen to name mine MCEDU student, um, but you can name it whatever you'd like. And the launcher, just like the server tool um, launcher, pops up. Same thing. Um, in this case, you didn't load the server tool onto the client computers, on the student computers, hopefully. So you won't see the server tool button down here. Uh, students will be pressing the Start Minecraft EDU button. Um, as I said before, the second button is plain old Minecraft. So you probably don't want them using that. Um, later on, we'll show you how to get rid of that button. So we're going to hit the Start Minecraft EDU button, and we are going to make sure that we are in Minecraft EDU login mode. That eliminates them having to do any passwords or anything like that. And that is considered an offline login. So we'll hit, hit launch and we will get our window. That'll take a few seconds to load up. And here we go. Now your students will put in their name, whatever you'd like them to use. Um, lots of times it's usually a last name is usually easy to identify people with, um, but they can pick anything they want. So that would be up to you. Um, pick their gender and continue. Now, when they are logging into the server that you create, they're going to go into multiplayer. Okay, that's the button they need. And you'll notice there won't be anything for them to do. It'll say scanning, but it's not going to find anything. This is where the IP address that we said was so important in the last tutorial comes into play. So probably the best thing for you to do is have them hit add server and in the server address box put in the number that you had on your server tool that you noticed from the last tutorial uh, mine happened to be 192.168.56.1 okay and then hit done and you'll see I get green bars here that means that I have a connection. If I didn't have that, if I got a red X or something like that, then we don't have the right number in there. Okay, now once you have that on there and you have the green bars, you can either click on it once and hit join server or just double click and that'll get you going to it. You'll get the next screen here where they can choose they are a student or they are a teacher. Okay, obviously they are not teachers so they won't have this password like you do. Okay, they'll click I'm a student, they'll pick the person they want to be, and click connect. And boom, we're in the tutorial world. Kids can go explore and learn, and this is a great place for them to start out. Thanks for watching.